Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It's me, Mr. 4K Upscaler. So um, on this video, I want to talk about uh, YouTube and my experience with YouTube. Uh, this is mainly due to one of my friends uh, whom I known uh, for, for quite a long time. His name is uh, Mr. Struders. Uh, his real name is Wayne, but he has a channel called Mr. Struders and he is mainly focused on the OLED and he's got tons of great videos regarding the OLED. He even helped me with some of the tips, you know, some of the tips regarding the OLED, how to uh, prevent the potential burning, how to prevent the retention, uh, some picture settings. Uh, he's a dear friend of mine. I, I respect him. I love him. And like I said, anything I can do to help him, I'll do it. I would still suggest that maybe you should reconsider uh, Remember, deleting a channel, it's easy. That's easy to do. Uh, gaining back that momentum, gaining back those videos, it's going to be tough to, to gain that. Maybe you will reconsider, I don't know. But the main reason I want to make this video is to talk about my YouTube experience and uh, what I've been through. Uh, so I'm going to talk about that a little bit. And um, I am sad to see that my friend, uh, Mr. Struders, has decided to uh, close his channel. Uh, his videos will still be up for a week, I think, he said, uh, when I spoke to him. Uh, hopefully he will reconsider. Uh, but I think he made up his mind and uh, he's going to shut it down. So on this video, maybe this will help you. I'm going to try to give you guys my experience and how I started the YouTube. Uh, first and foremost, uh, this is not my first time doing a YouTube channel. Back in 2000 and, uh, 2005, when YouTube from Google first launched, uh, it was actually me and the other guy called uh, Zero X Shinobi. I believe he lives in Brooklyn, in New York. Zero X Shinobi and me. We were the only two YouTubers back then who use our Logitech webcam and put our Logitech webcam in front of our televisions and we were recording these ridiculous 480p uh, 30 frames per second, maybe even 24 frames per second videos showing the footage of the video games that we were playing, okay? And uh, we were the first two that were doing that. And then Dark Side Field came in later on after that. Uh, I started doing that back in 2005. And, you know, my videos got removed. Uh, and because uh, the YouTube did not allow that back then, you know, you were not able to put any uh, video game uh, footage of anything because the YouTube back then didn't reserve any rights for you to show any video game footage so back in 2005 I was doing that and then I quit I had like a 3,000 subscribers but I had to quit because my videos were being taken down because YouTube obviously did not allow that I was just doing that as an experiment you know I wasn't making any money uh, it was just an experiment you couldn't even monetize the videos back then you couldn't profit anything it was just a, a platform where I thought maybe you can share whatever uh, so that was my first experience with the YouTube back then when, when it first uh, it's, it launched and started. So I took a break, you know, for a few years. I didn't, I didn't come back till 2014. In 2014, I came back with this new channel called uh, Video Games Galaxy. Video Games Galaxy, I was doing a bunch of live streams. I had like maybe... 20 subscribers in the beginning and then started growing from 30 from 20 to 30 to 40 to 50 and after about a few months I hit 100 subscribers and I was like whoa I got myself a hundred subscribers like damn but I really wasn't focused so much on the subscribers what I was mainly focused on and I think this is the important part that I want you guys to take away from this I wasn't focused on the numbers you see I was focused mainly on the experience I thought hey this is fun I still have my main two jobs that I work I always keep my two main jobs you gotta have income if you don't have income that's it you're done you're dead in the water so 
I looked at YouTube as something as a hobby. Okay, I can do this as a hobby. I can have fun, do some live streams, have fun, do some voiceovers. You know, I do voiceovers and stuff like that. Like, get to the chopper, come on, and Colonel, what's going on around here? You know, stuff like that. I do. I goof around. I try to make it entertaining. Uh, just like recently, I was uh, using Kojima's voice. You know, like. So, I, I you know I was having fun. You know, I, I was I was having fun. I wasn't looking at the numbers. Uh, the numbers was never my main focus, and so I was only focused on the experience. And the reason I'm saying this is because if you focus only on numbers, then I think you're setting yourself up for failure because you're expecting big numbers. You're expecting something big to happen. A lot of people make that mistake. They're focusing on the numbers. It took me six years since 2014 to reach to 34,000 subscribers. Think about that. It took me six years to reach 34,000 subscribers, and it took me six years to reach 20 million views. Uh, and it took a lot of hard work. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. I got over 4,000 plus videos. By the end of next year, I will have. 5,000 videos. That means I worked really hard. I just done 10 hours and 40 minutes live stream on the uh, Death Stranding. 10 hours and 40 minutes on Death Stranding. And then another 10 hours on, on Saturday. Uh, so, you know, you, you, you have to work hard. You know, I'm not saying that you don't, but if your main focus is looking at the numbers then I think you're setting yourself up for failure uh, when I started this channel I was mainly focused on uh, the experience I was like hey this is cool I get to meet some people um, I get to have fun and you know if I get paid I get paid you know if I reach to the point where I can monetize my videos cool fine why not make some money on the side off of it right but my main focus was never, hey, I'm going to be successful. Hey, I'm going to make a lot of money. Hey, I'm going to do this. Hey, I'm going to do that. My main focus was never that aspect. And I think, and I'm trying to give you an advice. Uh, the reason I'm giving you, uh, the reason I'm making this video is I'm also giving you a honest, true honest advice from someone who actually has experience. I've been doing this for six years and it's not my first time. So I have first-hand experience with YouTube, dealing with everything, dealing with the haters, de dealing with all kinds of stuff. This is not my first rodeo doing this. So I figured maybe this could help some of you. Uh, it's a slow burn, guys. It's a slow burn. Uh, don't expect to to start, you know, getting recognized right away don't expect to start making that money right away it's a slow burn okay especially now with all these different rules that YouTube has uh, it's it's even more of a slow burn and there's a competition you got to look at the competition uh, what I would do if I was you guys I would focus on what you're good at what you are good at don't try to copy other people. I see other YouTubers out there copying other YouTubers. You're automatically setting yourself up for failure. Okay. Uh, I don't consider myself uh, like a television guru guy, even though I, I was focused on the 4K. The only reason I was focused on the 4K televisions, it's because I took an opportunity back in 2015 and 2016 uh, with the 4K, because 4K was just starting out in 2015, and I took the advantage of that. I was like, "Hey, man, they're gonna be uh, converting these uh, Blu-ray movies into 4K with this new HDR format. Uh, the video game's gonna be in, in in HDR format, upscaled to 4K. There's new 4K televisions being released. Some of them are affordable, some of them are not. I felt like, well, this is a great opportunity for me to start talking about this." And that's how it started. But my main focus was never, was never a 
4K television. I didn't start this channel with a 4K television. My original name was Video Games Galaxy. And after that, I changed it to Eden's Gaming Vault. And after the Eden's Gaming Vault in 2015, I changed it to Mr. 4K Upscaler in 2016. So Mr. Arps for Mr. 4K Upscaler was born in 2016. But I started this channel from the beginning in 2014. And I want you to see the progression on how I started this channel. How slowly I gradually moved up from an experience, experimental uh, channel where I was just live streaming with uh, 20 subscribers and I moved up to 100 subscribers. How slowly I moved up from 20 subscribers to 100 subscribers and then evolved. And if you look at my channel from 2014 and how I evolved, there's trial and error and it's a slow burn, guys. It took me six years. Six years and yes, you have to put in the hard work a little bit, you know, because people come to your channel to be entertained uh, and also informative. What I try to do in my channel, I try to bring people some informative information uh, and then I try to entertain and I try to be interactive with my subscribers. Now, as you all know, I do have policies and rules where I don't tolerate spamming, where I don't tolerate harsh language, where I don't tolerate uh, people being harsh. You have to be respectful, obviously. Uh, but if you look at my channel, it was a slow burn, but I was never focused on the numbers. A lot of people are focused on the numbers, and I think if you are focused only on ones and zeros and how many subs I have, how many likes, how many dislikes, you are setting yourself up for failure because you got a great expectations of something that's unrealistic. You have to you have to look at it as a fun. You know, I, I started this as fun and I'm still doing it as fun. I still have my two main jobs. Guess what? After this, I gotta go do my job. And then another job at night. And then when I come back late at night, around one o'clock in the morning, I do a little bit of this. And then on Friday and Saturday I'm off. So Friday and Saturday I do live streams, okay? So you know, don't look at it as a like a main main uh career job. Okay? Now you can't compare yourself to Lou from Unbox Therapy, you can't uh, compare yourself to any of these YouTubers because they're big YouTubers. They're they're already established. They got millions of subscribers. They got uh, people working for them. They got money. They got investments. They got a lot of sponsors. So they got big studios and people editing and working for them uh, or for that individual. So they are well established. You cannot compare yourself to them and you shouldn't compare yourself to them. That's another mistake I see people do. They're comparing themselves to these other big YouTubers. I think that's a big mistake. Why? Don't compare yourself to them. You're not them. Uh, you do your own thing and see where it goes. Keep your day job. Do this as fun and see where it goes. If it goes well, if, it, uh, if you're successful, fine but don't expect it to happen uh in two years three years it takes about it look how long it took me six years and i'm still nowhere <laughs> where i needed to be i'm still like thirty-four thousand subscribers which is nothing okay in comparison to what some other people have okay but to me that's a big accomplishment for me personally but it took me six years and it took four thousand plus videos it took a lot of hard work Okay, but I never looked at it as a, um, I never looked at it as a career. Like, I never looked at this like, oh, this is a career job and, and this is what I need to do. And then, and, and, uh, no, I looked at it as fun, as a uh, hobby, fun. And that's what you need to look at this channel. I mean, what, what you need to look at your YouTube channel. Don't have expectations that all of a sudden you're going to be a successful YouTuber. And this applies for everything. You know, when you start a new job, 
Don't expect for you to start getting a raise right away. Don't expect for you to uh, start making as much as the other guy. You just started. You need to prove yourself. You need to climb the ladder. You got to work hard. Remember, guys, one lesson I learned coming from Bosnia to the United States here in this country. Yes, this is um, capitalism. It's a dog eats dog. It's a competition. Uh, you have opportunity. It's being presented to you. But you have to work hard, guys. You have to work hard. That's the one thing that the America teaches you when you come here. Uh, forget the movies. Forget all that shit you see, okay? It teaches you that you got to work hard. You got to work hard. You got to go out there. You got to work really hard. They are, they, there is no shortcuts, okay? Anyone who tells you there is a shortcut... They're lying to you, and you shouldn't listen to that person. You should avoid that person like cancer. There are no shortcuts. There is no easy, uh, easy way getting something, okay, or to get to something. There is no easy way. There is no easy route. There is no secret sauce. That's all bullshit. I don't care who, who says it to you. They're lying to you. No one has a secret sauce. It's a hard work. That's what it's all about. Look at Sylvester Stallone. Look at Arnold. Look at all of these celebrities. Hard work. Look at Joe Rogan. Hard work. Hard work. It's a slow burn. It's a hard work, but you have to be committed. Just like I'm being committed today to make two videos. I made one regarding Disney Star Wars, and I made this video trying also to shed some light, maybe help my friend a little bit. Maybe my friend, uh, Mr. Struders, will change his mind because I believe he's got a great potential. Uh, he's got 700-something subscribers. I, he, you, dude, you're almost close to 1K, and that's a big accomplishment to reach 1,000 subscribers. Okay, any way I can help you, I'll help you. Even this video, me promoting you, Mr. Struders, I'll leave a link down below so people can check you out. Uh, I did give a little boost to Tekken, Tekken uh, Travel channel. I did boost them up, and I love that I did that. Uh, and maybe I should have given you a more boost, and I apologize for that. But here I am, uh, letting everybody know. Go check out Mr. Struders. I think if you love OLED, and regardless if you are on the fence about, you know what, even better. Even better. If you are on the fence about the OLED, and uh, you still have this fear of retention and the burning on the screen. I think the best person for you to go, it's Mr. Struders. He's all about the OLED. He's been doing OLED for a long time. Okay? Longer than me. And who better than him to give you all the tips, to give you all the reassurance on how to avoid the potential retention, potential burn-in, which I hope it never happens. So... Go check him out. So that's the main reason I did this video. To one part, you know, hopefully maybe Mr. Struders, Wayne, you will change your mind. I really hope that you don't close your channel. I think you should reconsider. Remember, closing your channel, it's always easy. But gaining back that momentum, it's hard. You know, it's always hard to rebuild what you lost. Uh, Destroying something, deleting something, it's very easy. And I wish that my other friend, Joe, 1316 Killer, wouldn't have done that. That he wouldn't have <coughs> deleted his channels and his videos. But, you know, uh, I cannot uh, tell you what to do. I can just give you advice, a good friendly advice. And I hope that this video helps. Uh, not just for my friend, but for all of you out there who are struggling with the YouTube. Remember, it's a slow burn. But don't think of it as a success career job. Don't think of it as a uh, ones and zeros. Don't think about ones and zeros. Because if you think about ones and zeros, if you think about your likes and your subscriber lists, how many subscribers you gained, if you think about that, guess what, then you're setting yourself up to fail if you think about the numbers, all right? So I hope this video helps you guys out. I'm just trying to be honest here because I've been doing this for a long time. And remember, you should do this 
because you love doing it. You shouldn't do it because you're looking for the numbers. If you're looking only for the numbers, then you're setting yourself up for failure. Any job, any career, if you're looking only for ones and zeros, you're setting yourself up for failure. You truly got to be passionate about things. And uh, you, you got to be focused on, on that, what you love. Maybe, you know, you love music. Maybe you should do music videos. Maybe music is your passion. There's a lot of YouTubers out there who are doing musics, uh, you know, playing guitar, piano, or some people doing just vlogs or just doing live streams. Find what you are good at. Don't try to copy others. Try to find what's, what's good that you do. What is your passion? What is it you're good at? And you will find your audience. Trust me, you will find your audience. I don't care what the topic is. It could be aliens, Bigfoot, I don't care. Find something that you're good at, okay? And I think uh, you should always look at it as a hobby first, not as a career. All right, so that's my advice, and that's what I have to say about that. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And uh, Mr. Shooters, I hopefully you will change your mind, and uh, I wish you all the best, brother, in whatever it is that you do next. Thank you, and uh, I'll see you guys uh, pretty soon. Tomorrow, as a matter of fact, uh, we're doing a live stream. We're doing uh, Star Wars, the the Jedi Fallen Order. We're doing that, and then a little bit of uh, Death Stranding. So two live streams tomorrow. It's going to be around 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, late in the evening. Okay, I'm going to start it late in the evening because I have to go to the gym during the day. Uh, so uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Have a good one. I'm just here trying to give you some good friendly advice. That's all. That's all I'm doing here. Thank you guys for watching. Take care. Be good. Stay safe.